Is that working? Right, here we go. We've got the actual hydrogen generator with 16 plates with a 2 mil spacer gaskets. We've got a positive, negative, positive, negative. I say with the four plate, um, four neutral plates in between. One, two, three, four. Um, we've got the input for the ele electrolyte there. We've got the output for the hydrogen HHO there. We've got a bubbler here where the hydrogen comes into here and bubbles through a tube that goes down inside this water. We've got the output there with a flash arrestor there, which is not uh, the right size. Uh, I've got a problem with the, uh, the right size one that was sent. I've got to do a video on it. Uh, just another bubbler here just to actually prove how it would work. The, uh, the brains of the operation here. The uh, pulse width modulator with frequency control, uh, variable frequencies, uh, you can set it to four different frequencies. We've got a um, automatic switcher there to cut off the electric if it goes over 20 amps. So it's like a circuit breaker, automatic. So we don't get drawing too many amps. Uh, this setup, uh, we've got a, I've got a, a block here uh, that will just disconnect it, just a, a click block um, for, for obviously my design for 240 volt. If you're wondering why I've got this uh, all, all earth cable, uh, that's simply because of economics. They don't seem to, to want to sell you red and black by uh, the meter because it's uh, not called for in England. So here's the, uh, here's the thing I'm using to uh, give it a little bit of power. It's only a small battery charger. I've got it on trickle charge at the moment. And uh, if I attach that to there, like that, just simply, you then start to see what happens. So it, it's pretty much straight away. That's. Uh, it's only set on a very low setting at the moment, um, and uh, that's easily controllable. So that's basically how it's uh, all set up. Uh, like other people, I had quite a lot of difficulty getting these uh, connections. This time I've uh, done a good job, and hopefully they won't come loose. Um, it's uh, 316 L stainless in here. Uh, this one's made in England. Uh, the the box uh, has come from America, and this spark arrestor um, that also came from the US. Uh, pipe bits, accessories round about, and everything uh, came from China. And uh, yes, this came from China. And this came from China, the uh, pulse width modulator with variable frequency uh, changes available to uh, alter the, the pulse rate. So yeah, that's the uh, that's what we've got at the moment. Um, and uh, this is only on uh, 12 volt trickle charge. There's the trickle charge selection. Obviously, if I push it through to, to give it a faster charge kind of thing, then it uh, will give a lot more um, hydrogen out. So I don't know whether you can see that bubbling away like a good one there. It's really going good. I've uh, just had to recently change these, which has put me back. Uh, if my friends know that I've been doing this for some time and uh, had a slight accident with these and broke them. So uh, that's put me back and I've had to wait another three weeks to, to get them from China. But yeah, this is uh, the first time I've set it up outside with the spark arrestor. And uh, hopefully I'm going to give it a few tests uh, soon with the actual spark arrestor and see, uh, see if it works. But uh, yeah, just thought I'd give you a quick rundown on what's going on over here in England. And uh, yeah, no... No chemtrails today, we're looking quite good. Uh, let's 
um, still overcast, but uh, we had terrible chemtrails this morning, but uh, not so bad now. Okay, all the best, speak to you soon.